Richard Hubbard for Queensbury Promotions here in Islington um, to have a press conference for the April 11 O2 show. On that card, we have Henry the Showman Turner. How are you, Henry? All good, thank you very much. How are you? Yeah, all good. Um, now, just to explain to viewers, you're now 2 0. Having got started, I think it was December at the Copper Box, and you subsequently performed the other week at York Hall. Give us a little assessment on your sort of professional experience to date. Yeah, I've had two good performances now. I had a good, some good compliments after my other fight the other night after, on the interview with John Fury. So I'm, I'm happy with a couple of performances. I'm hoping to get better and better. But the experience so far has been unreal. So compliments from John Fury after your second fight. Now, after your first fight, you had your coach, Alan, and none other than Jimmy Tibbs say it was the best debut they'd seen in 20 years. So you must be doing something right. Yeah, I'm definitely doing something right. Two fights and two very good compliments from people that's been in boxing all their lives. It's not... I mean, you've actually... By, by your own admission, you're not a devastating puncher. That's not really your game. So you've got to impress people over a full fight. And that's not always easy, I guess. No, it's not always easy, but I impress people with my classy skills and my boxing. So I ain't really a big puncher. It will come hopefully one day. And I'll, I'll have both boxing and the punching. So... Tell people um, a little bit about your amateur experience because I think I've got the numbers right. It's only like 60 fights, but only four losses, is that correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, 60 fights, four losses. I won the European Games as a junior. I also went as a schoolboy and got in the quarterfinals. I won seven national titles as an amateur, about five international box club and international tournaments I won gold in. So I really didn't get nothing less than gold. <laughs> So all that being said, how much of a tricky transition has it been from being such a successful amateur to trying to turn yourself into a hardened pro? Yeah, it's, it's a bit difficult because as an amateur you're up on your feet moving about and as a pro you're more settled in your feet looking for the power. But I'm taking my time and slowly working my way into the programme and also trying to keep a bit of that amateur experience because it's good when you get on your feet and you can move. Now you've got the showman written on your shorts and... There has been a little bit of showboatery so far, hasn't there, in both fights, particularly the first one where a little Ali Shuffle came in. Yeah, a little Ali Shuffle in the first one. Not so much in the second one, but the first one gave him a little bit back. He'd given me a lot of abuse, so I had to give him a little bit back. <laughs> is that something that's in you and we can expect to see more of as your career progresses? Yeah, it definitely is. It's in me. Confidence. As my confidence grows, as I go on, a bit more showboating, show a bit more. I'm called the showman, even though it's not from showboating, it's more from a funfair background. Yeah. I was just going to say to people, explain to the viewers why you've got such neat footwork and it's to do with a fairground background, isn't it? Yeah, neat footwork comes from walking the walkers <laughs> when I was a little kid. So you're one of the ones that used to jump on and spin people around until they go dizzy? Yeah, I didn't have to. I didn't really work, but I used to just go on there for the fun of it, spin the people, make them feel a bit sick, just for the laugh, really. You had your own stall on the fairground as well, didn't you? Yeah, I had my own stall. I had a sweet stall when I was little, about nine years old. When I first started boxing, they had to get rid of it because I get eating all the sweets and I was fat. So they got rid of that stall for me and then I ended up getting like a little train ride. So that was all right. little train ride? What's yeah, that then? little kiddies train ride. i still got it now, but I don't, I don't really travel. We don't really travel with the fun fairs that much anymore, so it doesn't really get... Money. When you did that, did you get to keep the money? Yeah, a little bit of money. Dad loses to take most of it though. <laughs> Going back to boxing, and your last fight was against Daryl Pierce. Now, this name keeps cropping up. Now, I think you're the third out of your gym to fight him in recent months, and only one of you stopped him. Has that been pointed out in banter terms in the gym? Yeah, Sam's definitely uh, one that stopped him. Sam's unbelievable strength. Power was unreal, so he was, he was the one that stopped him. Me and Ethan James won both very easily on points, but Sam definitely stood out and stopped him. <laughs> More of the same on the 11th? Is it just another fight to get some more experience in the bank? Yeah, obviously probably another fight just to get some more experience in the bank and keep learning as a pro. But definitely, hopefully, another solid performance and even better than the last one. Just keep improving. When you're selling tickets for this fight coming up, it must be a lot easier to go up to your friends and family and say, it's Dubois v Joyce, it's Yard v Arthur. Yeah, it's a definitely it's an exciting show, so it's a lot easier to sell the tickets. Like on the last one, it ain't as big show, so it's a bit harder to sell the tickets. But this fight, it sells, it sells itself, don't it? So. And you'd have to tell them to stay till the end this time as well, wouldn't you? Yeah, it's definitely stay till the end this time, yeah. It's going to be fireworks. Very quickly, go through those two fights for us. Give us your prediction. First of all, Daniel v. Joe. Uh, my, I'm going to go with Dubois. 
definitely because of his power. If if Joyce breaks him down late on, maybe we could see Joyce win it, but I think the bar's power is definitely, I think he's going to knock him out. And Yard v Arthur? I think Yard, personally Yard. I don't know how yet, they're both very good fighters, but my personal opinion, Yard. Because you haven't seen so much of Lyndon? Yeah, I haven't really seen much of Lyndon, I've seen a bit of Yard, so I can only go with what I know. Henry Turner, thank you very much for joining us and we'll see you very soon. Thank you very much.